Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with Maths and Stats, uh, and in this video, another video in our series of videos dealing with calculus and in particular differentiation from first principles, uh, what we want to present is the derivation uh, or the proof uh, with respect to the quotient rule. And maybe what we'll just do first is we'll just recall the quotient rule, what the quotient rule says to us. So let's just recall uh, that the quotient rule says this. Uh, if we have a function, if f of x uh, is equal to u of x over v of x, and more importantly, if u of x and v of x are both differentiable functions, well then uh, f prime of x, the derivative of, 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 of f with respect to x, is equal to, it's equal to du dx times v minus u times dv dx all over, all over v squared. So that the derivative of this function Okay, can be calculated by looking at the, let's say, the, the numerator with respect to the quotient and the, the denominator with respect to the quotient, differentiating both of them separately, so finding the derivative of u with respect to x, finding the derivative of v with respect to x, and then using them particular values uh, to, to calculate this particular, this particular expression over here. Okay? You can see. So let's try to prove this from first principles, but let's just recall, recall, uh, what we mean by force principles and the derivative of, and the derivative of a function. Okay, so uh, if we have a function, okay, so let let's say let oh, I just need to mute my, my my computer there. Okay, so we have a function. Let f let f of x be a function. Okay, be a function. Okay. Well then, then its derivative uh, f prime of x is equal to the limit as h tends to zero uh, of f of x plus h minus f of x uh, all over h. This is the definition of, this is the definition here of what a derivative is. And we want to use this particular fact to show that the derivative of a quotient is actually equal to this particular, this particular expression here. So let's start this particular, let's start this particular journey. So let's say, so here's our proof, here's our proof, and let f of x be equal to uh, u of x over v of x, uh, where, where u and v are both, are both differentiable. Okay? In other words, we can, we can differentiate them, differentiable. The consequence of them being differentiable is that they're continuous. Uh, they're continuous on a particular interval. That's important for us. So let f of x be equal to this, and now what we want to do is we want to actually calculate the derivative okay, of f of x by calculating this particular part of this equation here. So now what we have is this, is that we have f prime of x uh, must be equal to the limit, the limit as h tends to zero of f of x plus h. But f of x is equal to u of x divided by v of x. So f of x plus h must be equal to uh, u of x plus h over v of x plus h. Okay? We're evaluating f of x at uh, x plus h minus f of x. Well, f of x is simply equal to u of x over over v of x, which all needs to be divided by which all needs to be divided by divided by h. So we just have a little bit of algebra here, just to maybe just to sort out this particular this particular this particular fraction. Uh, so what this is equal to is it's equal to the limit as h tends to zero. Let's just deal with the top piece here. Uh, both of these fractions have a denominator. The common denominator is going to be v of x plus h times v of x plus h times uh, v of x. Uh, so this gives us the denominator on the top is going to be uh, v of x plus h times v of x. And when we divide v of x plus h into v of x times v of x plus h, v of x, it goes v of x times so what we end up with here is we end up with uh, u of x plus h times v of x minus, when we divide v of x into v of x plus h times v of x, it goes v of x plus h times, <clears throat> so that's going to be equal to minus uh, u of x times v of x plus h. So what we did was that we just got the common denominator and we simplified these two fractions down into a single fraction, which all needs to be divided by which all needs to be divided by h. And just remember that when we're dividing by, 
this is also a fraction here, it's over one. When we're dividing by a fraction, it's, 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 it's equivalent to inverting and multiplying. So we end up with this. So therefore we have that the first derivative of f of x uh, is equal to the limit as h tends to zero of u of x plus h times v of x minus u of x times v of x plus h all over all over uh, h times v of x plus h times v of x, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna split this up into two fractions. So this becomes equal to the limit as h tends to zero of, let's keep the numerator as is, it's u of x plus h times v of x minus u of x times v of x plus h all divided by, 